Good morning. Welcome to a little bit of hope this morning. It is a gorgeous day. Yes. God has made it and invited us to be a part of it. This morning as we look at Psalm 5, we catch a few things, really. Here are the words. Listen to my words, Lord. Consider my lament. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. For you are not a God who is pleased with wickedness. With you, evil people, are not welcome. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all those who do wrong. You destroy those who tell lies. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, you, Lord, detest. But I, by your great love, can come into your house in reverence. I bow down towards your holy temple. And I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking to myself as I'm reading this, there's just a couple of things that jump right off the page at me. He's calling in prayer to have the Lord consider his lament, his frustration, his cry for help. And he gives us some insight. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. He's listening. He's waiting for the Lord's response to his prayer. How many times do we lift up a prayer and either not let go and leave it in God's hands or continue to lift it up over and over and over again and not wait to see what is the response? Maybe not listen well for the response because it's not coming in a way that we expect it to. But there's a second part. To this as well. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. Which is, in a sense, showing an understanding of the fact that all goodness, all of our uh, understanding of righteousness, is coming from God's character. And the fact that, that the psalmist writes and says that the words we say, the actions that we show, the thoughts that we carry with us are important, I think in itself is very important. It shows that it's not just God's character that's portrayed, it's a, God's character in us as the Holy Spirit moves and transforms us that there has to be a right and a wrong that there has to be a showing to the world of who God is in us and through us otherwise how are the others going to be invited or even understand that God is a God who is righteous which is why he, I think that he goes on to say that by your great love I can come into your house in reverence I bow down towards your holy temple he's got it he's got his understanding and relationship in a sense figured out I come into your house because all of these things I am applying to my life and I come to your house and I bow down for you are the one that can transform all situations and provide a grace that is sufficient for each and every one of us. There's a
some hope for the day. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank and praise you for this beautiful day you've given to us and for this time together. Lord, we lift to you our frustrations, our requests, and we leave them at the altar, at the foot of the cross, Lord. And we ask that you do help us as we wait for your answer. That we may be patient and that we may be hopeful of your response. For we know your presence. We know your reign. We know that there is nothing too large or too small to bring to you, Lord. So we, today, Lord, we lift to you those who are in surgery, those who are in rehab, those that are maybe struggling to get healthy, those that are certainly struggling and frustrated uh, with man-made systems. Maybe our denomination, or maybe our government, maybe something else that they're in the middle of. And help us to turn to you, Lord looking for that righteousness, that grace, that mercy. Lord, continue to move in our church as a whole, that we may be that reverence and behold that reverence to the world, that others may come to you because they see something different, something new and exciting. Lord, we truly need a revival in your church today to encourage others to come to worship. Lord, we lift you, our government workers and our leaders, and we ask, Lord, for their guidance. And we ask, Lord, that you guide them as we are asking for guidance from them or as they are providing it to us. Lord, we lift to you uh, those in the parts of the world that are in warring areas that are in a bad spot. And we ask, Lord, in that situation that you move mountains and uh, bring peace and hope and comfort to those people there. Your timing is perfect, Lord, whatever that may be. We also lift to you our churches, our pastors, and, Lord, we lift to you our congregations. Change is hard. Change is a difficult thing right now inside of the United Methodist Church, whatever that looks like. And, Lord, we need you in the middle of all of this and the emotion and the struggle that's going on in people's hearts. And we need to know, Lord, what is your will. So guide us in that direction, Lord, and encourage us in our faith journey. But also, Lord, encourage us and provide us all that we need for the ministry that you have called us into in this time and in this place. Bless us, Lord, as we take this journey together with each other and with you. May we glorify you in the process. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, good morning, my friends. It is great to see you up online. It's a blessing to take this journey with you as we explore Scripture. And I hope that this is truly a blessing for you. Any comments, concerns, prayer requests, please leave them in the comment section below. You're certainly in my prayers for sure. So, my friends, until we see each other again, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May you be blessed and be a blessing to others. Share a kind word, a random act of kindness. Help a friend. Share some scripture that's full of hope and guidance. Love, grace, and mercy. Maybe even help someone as they're lamenting. So my friends, again, Thank you for joining me and look forward to our time together again. Sunday worship, as always, 10 o'clock up online or in person. We certainly hope to see you there. And until then, or until the next time we see each other up online again, 
Be safe. God bless you. Bye for now.